How's it going guys? Your Bramasu here. Now before I get into this video guys, I want to say that I'm doing this video for harm reduction and educational purposes. Um, you know, this is my subjective experience with various uh, psychedelic substances. And that being said, today I'm going to talk to you guys about MDMA slash ecstasy and my experience of it and just kind of my overall perspective and sort of thoughts about this substance. So the first time that I used MDMA was with a friend and we rolled on the eclipse. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't rolling until after the eclipse was over because that would have been so amazing to roll, you know, during the actual eclipse. But uh, it didn't kick in for a while. It took like three hours to kick in for some reason. And I remember when it first hit like it was like an ocean of euphoria just going up and down and, and I took a really big dose too I was rolling pretty hard um, and the first couple times that I did it it wasn't all that life-changing I just remember sort of thinking that this was just really euphoric and really amazing and blissful um, but it wasn't until fairly recently that I started to really understand the therapeutic value of MDMA. Um, you know, when I used it by myself for therapeutic and healing purposes, I felt like I was able to kind of see a more sort of spiritual side of the substance because in the other contexts that I was using the substance, I was using it in a more... I didn't really have purpose with it necessarily. I was just using it to experience the effects solely. But then I went inwards with the substance and I was really just able to see just how therapeutic, how healing the substance was. And so basically what I did was is that I combined MDMA with LSD a couple times and I was able to, you know, see the power of that combination. And my roles that I've had this year have been really, really been beneficial because it's kind of like aligned my heart to my mind or something along the lines of that. Basically, like accepting where I'm at, trying to navigate how I'm going to, you know, go on this trip to Indonesia, for example, and like what that really means to backpack Asia and sort of like having my heart, you know, kind of navigating me more than my mind, you know, because like, I feel like if my heart's not in something that I'm not going to be able to do it and MDMA just completely like breaks down the kind of like emotional barriers that we have in society and you're able to just sort of like fully envelop yourself in your true divinity. And so I will talk about some negatives because I don't want to glorify the substance. But I will say that I feel like if used properly, MDMA can be one of the most healing substances ever, like that you can ever try. Um, you know, <clears throat> this substance can cure PTSD with, a, you know, a success rate of 67%. And it's three uh, sessions. And then after that, you're done. And your PTSD is like gone forever. Like, and that's something that I find really amazing about this substance. Of course, also just like therapy for couples that are having problems like, you know, relationship issues and this substance can kind of make those problems just not really seem too relevant or it's like the things that you think are just such a big deal are just really not that big of a deal on MDMA. You're able to sort of find yourself talking about your issues from a very compassionate place instead of just taking yourself so seriously and like thinking that you know all of these problems that you have are just manifesting and what am I going to do but it's like you have the power to heal and to find your way and to find your true purpose in this planet. And, you know, if you just sort of, you know, look inwards, uh, give yourself a, an experience that is just solely based on love rather than sort of this kind of separateness that we feel just by being in this 3D body, then you can just sort of accept the pain that you have in your life and you can learn either how to heal from it or accept it. But it's like a combination of the two. If you accept, then it, then it he you heal. You, you can't heal if you don't accept. It's like, you know, if you, um, let's just say you have some sort of health condition and you're trying to like do a, you know, water fast or something 
or like a long, you know, silent meditation or whatever it is, right? If you're not accepting first before you go into that, then you're going to have a difficult time sort of surrendering to your fast or whatever sort of spiritual practice that you're doing. And the same thing I feel like can be said for psychedelic substances. A lot of people, when they try, you know, something more like mushrooms or LSD, you know, the traditional psychedelics, they're not able to totally just surrender to the experience. And so accepting can help you surrender um, because you're going to be more open to an experience that takes you so far. However, MDMA is something that you don't have to really surrender to because you, you just you're accepting, you're just accepting, 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 you're not holding back, you're not saying, I can't accept this, I can't do this, you're saying, I can do this, I can do whatever I, you know, want to do, like, this is my life, and this is my path, and I, and I have these goals, and passions, and whatever, and I can get there, I have to find a way, and instead of just saying, I give up, you're just fully accepting the person you are. So, that being said, because I know I've said so much positive things about it, so I will just talk about some harm reduction and some, some negative things about MDMA. So, honestly, this substance is, like, the positives definitely outweigh the negatives for me. I want to say that. But this is just from my perspective. People do get addicted to MDMA, and I don't know how I could ever do that because I just really respect this substance. I have a very spiritual relationship with it. Um, but people do get addic addicted to ecstasy, and that's a really bad thing because MDMA is supposedly neurotoxic if you take it too often, and the reason why is because you're using so much serotonin when you go into this experience, and so if you don't give your body and mind like time to process this experience and time to recover and your you know receptors to recover and all that then you're just going to have a very sort of negative hangover every single time you use the substance so you you know there is something on maps's websites uh, the multiplinary association for psychedelic substances i think is what it stands for they say that mdma used in therapy um three times uh, every three to five weeks. However, if you're doing it more than three times, then you should consider waiting definitely at least a month, but honestly, probably longer if you can. Um, so frequency of usage is a very important thing because I've learned, I've rolled, you know, I think I did it maybe like two weeks after one time. And that was just a lot. Like I had a pretty negative hangover from that just because I didn't properly like wait to dose, you know, or roll again, you know? So you have to really be conscious of that because, you know, yes, MDMA is beautiful. Yes, MDMA is probably like, honestly, it's definitely in my top five psychedelics that I've tried because what it has done is I feel like very positive. And when I look back on the experiences, I can just really vouch for that. It's also very much, I think, something that is good with other people, but at the same time, it can be very enlightening to have it done with yourself because you get to go inwards rather than um, sort of projecting your love outwards, which is also a good thing to do, but sometimes you just want to go inside yourself rather than, you know, share that love with other people. And it's all about perspective. I think that doing both is good. You know, you should have an MDMA, like if you're going to use this for therapeutic purposes, I would say that it's good to have definitely at least one experience by yourself, uh, but you should also definitely try with other people because um, I think other people heal. Like, you know, we can use sort of our spiritual powers to like heal other people and to cure issues and like these substances can really bring people together, especially MDMA because it's just such a heart opening substance, barriers, uh, emotional barriers, like psychological barriers, um, or just anything that sort of can divide a person can just be break broke down with this substance and it's beautiful. So also, yeah, you should definitely test your MDMA because, and also dosaging is important. You can overdose on the substance. You have to be careful. You have to take like lower doses. Don't like, like if you're going to redose, do it two to three hours 
into the experience and also like don't take too high of a dose um like i think that like i mean i've experienced like low doses of mdma like like 50 milligrams and i've experienced really high doses of around like 200 and i feel like 200 is not terrible but if it's your first time doing mdma you should probably stick to like probably like 70 to 125 somewhere in that range depending on body weight and other factors but yeah overall guys i hope you enjoyed this video about mdma um you know this is a beautiful substance and i think that it's it's amazing i think that if if you know we all rolled a molly maybe we would have a more open-hearted society just because of the empathogenic effects it's a very spiritual substance too i feel like and you know, I just feel like this has a lot of potential to heal people and to heal our society. We should always be open to these types of things. Uh, but we also got to be aware of the risks and we have to use proper harm reduction tools so that we don't have the negative effects of said substance because, yeah, I mean, this substance is so beautiful, so we got to use it properly. And I think that we got to utilize how we use things rather than, you know, just say it's bad and we shouldn't use it at all. Because obviously, like, you know, this substance is amazing. It can cure PTSD, it can, you know, bring people together, all these things. So, you know, we got to just, instead of saying, you know, don't do things or, or just flat out discourage people from doing things, we should instead teach how to use things because people are going to use these substances, whether they're legal or not. And, um, so if that's the case, we should definitely use proper harm reduction tools. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.